Hey everybody, welcome to the Mud Jug One channel. As you can tell by the title, we're going to show people how to do a full can of dip. Now, if you're not familiar uh, with uh, full can challenges, uh, full can challenges have been around for a while. Um, people just do when they hit a certain amount of subs, people in the dipping community that is. I know we did full can challenges at the Dippers Retreat when we were doing those. I actually have a video where I did seven cans in, what was it, two minutes, Chris? Yep. Seven cans in two minutes. So basically what it is, is the whole point is, is stuff a full can, or seven, in my case, uh, in your mouth. And uh, yay, it's a, it's a big uh, hoorah, uh, big deal, right? Um, but I have a lot, a lot of people because I did a five can and then I did a seven can. A lot of people have asked me, "Hey man, I'm, I want to do a full can video, but I don't know how to do it, and I don't know what the easiest way is, and so on." So I figured I'd do a, a video showing people how to uh, do it. Uh, it's not that big a deal for me. It's pretty easy because I have a big mouth. Um, but we are going to need a mud jug to spit in, I'm sure. So we're going to use the brand new finish line mud jug. All you race fans out there, uh, if you want to get this mud jug for 15% off, use the code RACE. So that is the mud jug of the day, finish line mud jug. We did jack this uh, can from Jeff out of the freezer here at the mud jug shop. Um, I'm just kind of delaying because I don't want it to be frozen. Once I crack it, I want to I do the whole can, show you guys how. But when it's frozen, obviously, it's a lot more difficult to do because you can't really pinch it. So, Speaking of finish line, have you guys been watching the Olympics? Holy shit. I did watch golf. I haven't really watched a whole lot other than uh, women's volleyball. It was pretty cool to see golf. First time golf has been in the Olympics since, what, 112 years, I think it's been, which is pretty crazy. And we, uh, as the USA, America, fuck yeah, by the way, Red Egg Nation, Big shout out to them for uh, getting me this t-shirt and uh, Ready Nation actually does all of our uh, clothing by the way. So hit them up. Fuck yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good to see Matt Kuchar. Us uh, Americans won a medal in, uh, in golf, so that was cool to see. So I'm gonna crack this. Uh, we'll see how it looks. Now, the first tip I will give you on doing full can videos or just doing a full can is that um, you definitely want to get something that's longer cut you know like if you want to do a full can of snuff versus a full can of coat natty this supposedly is extra long cut it is a little bit longer than regular Copenhagen long cut but the longer the cut the easier it is to do full can something like tough guy which is a fat cut or stokers is quite easy uh, to do but I, we're doing this today just because that's all we had for a full can uh, that was uncracked. So we're going to take this open. Now, for me, my strategy and my technique may be different than a lot of people. I grab as much as I can without spilling it, and I just stuff it straight in. A lot of people try and go on the side, and if they're not used to having a wad in there. Sometimes it can go towards the back and it can gag you, etc. So uh, anyway, we'll throw a timer up here once once I you know put the first pinch in. See how fast I can do it. But I just want to check to see, make sure it's. I don't want to get it everywhere. Um, although I could probably put this whole freaking thing in at one pop if it would stay together. But it's. It's thawing out pretty good. So, um, just like when you pinch fine cut, it's probably best to uh, push it to the side once you get down lower. But anyway, uh, here goes. I'm going to grab a big hog. And again, I'm going to try not to spill it. Once this hog goes in, we'll start the timer. I'm probably going to do this in about 15 seconds. So, here goes. Hmm. That's it? Mm hmm. Just like that, that easy. <laughs> but, I don't think I can talk to this thing, but. 
because I have a big mouth, I can put it to the side. Now on the seven can, I just start jamming in about on the third or fourth can. Yeah, I gotta cook this out. <laughs> You have a lot of dumbasses. That's a waste of can of do. Mm. I'm actually gonna save some. <laughs> save some and stick it in my lip. And what I'll do is I'll just slowly get it from all over my mouth. <laughs> and then I'll just pack it in like a normal dip. Now I'll probably get a buzz off of that just because I had it all in, or at least half, halfway in my mouth. <laughs> I did get a few flakes down the back of my throat, but yeah, we're good. I got deep in my teeth. A little bit. We're fine. So that's really it in a nutshell. I know, you know, a lot of people are gonna go, oh my god, that was pretty dumb, or that was useless, or that was pointless. But again, I do get a lot of people asking, how do I do a full can? Gotta do it fast. You gotta do it fast, you know, you gotta, once you get it in, you should take it out because you will get a lot of nicotine. A lot of people out there who don't get buzz off dip, like I know we did a video on Tough Guy dip uh, last week, and uh, some people were saying, well, I can't really feel the nicotine content in the tough guy dip, um, but I actually still get a little bit of a buzz off Copenhagen. I really don't, but if you want to get a buzz, you can put in, in, in your budget isn't an issue. You got you know a money tree in your backyard, then put fatter hogs in. You'll get a, a buzz off of that. But tough guy, I talked to George from tough guy, and he actually is up his nicotine content in all of his flavors of tough guy chew. So, I'm looking forward to trying his new uh, his new dip with a new or higher nicotine level. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, I mean, if you can't push it into the side because your mouth is small, then the best thing to do is just go straight in. The problem is when you open up to put more in, and if it's straight in, if it's not back far enough, it'll fall out. Some of it'll fall out. So that's why it's nice to put it to the side if you can push it to the side till you get it all in, and, and it's pretty easy. Actually, I'm getting to. I'm getting the buzz off of that. <laughs> Just having that in that long, you know. I usually do a can a day, not a can in 10 seconds, but. But, Copenhagen Natty, I mean, this shit, this stuff is sometimes it's hard to find. A lot of gas stations don't sell it. I usually get my dip in uh, five can sleeves at from Sam's Club, Copenhagen Long Cut. Five can log is like 22 bucks, and they don't even have this shit there. Um, in logs or at all so which kind of weird but you know whatever there's a Costco around here but Costco certain Costco's don't sell tobacco products what a bunch of pussies man aren't we living in America good grief speaking of America in the news right here what 45 minutes away Chris yep up the hill there's been 80,000 plus people evacuated because of the fires it's so dry here, man. It's been over a hundred. And then I want to give a big shout out to the people down south who are suffering from the flooding going on down there. They're getting all that water and we need that water here. You know, I don't know what's going on, but it, it always happens every year. It's dry as shit here and it floods somewhere else. Texas had it a few months ago, I think. So it's crazy. I do want to let you guys know that we added 60 more boot barn locations that carry our mud jugs. Now we have not added those new stores to our uh, store locator list on our website yet. But if there's a boot barn near you guys, just call them. Call them and see, ask them if they got mud jugs in. I think now we're up to, I think there's only like 10 stores out of 210 that, that don't carry our mud jugs of all the boot barns. So like 200 stores. Speaking of boot barn, if you guys take a picture in outside the front, in the front of Boot Barn, with the sign behind you holding your mud jug you bought from Boot Barn. Send it to us at mjphotos at mudjug.com and we'll throw it in Picks of the Week. So, speaking of Picks of the Week, here are Picks of the Week.
get yourself some Coke Natty. I hope you guys, uh, you know, I hope the people that asked for this video, I hope that helps. Um, grab yourself a finish line mud jug. Big race coming up this weekend, right? Uh, short track. What's that track called? Is it Bristol? Battle of the Bowl. I think it's Bristol this weekend. I think it's Bristol. Or is it Dover? No, I think it's Bristol. Bristol. Holy shit. I want to go to Bristol one day. The NASCAR trading card segment, guys. I Every time I go to Target, which isn't very often, but I've, I go to Target, Chris goes, we go to Walmart, Target, whatever. We're always looking for NASCAR trading cards so, because a lot of people are, were asking, and that obviously would have been appropriate to do NASCAR trading card segment, which I haven't done in a long time with the finish line mud joke, but we can't find any. I know people did send me some some old ones, and it's like these drivers aren't even driving anymore, or they're not they're in a different car or whatever, and it, it just it just wasn't really conducive to uh, my uh, typical NASCAR trading car segment. So I looked online; it's like they want fifty bucks for a, one little box. Come on, what are these things made out of gold? I don't I don't know what they're thinking. So anyway, if somebody can get us some NASCAR trading cards, up to date new ones, and they want to send them to us, just Send them to us at Mudduck. Our address is on our website, and we'll use them in a NASCAR trading card segment. And I'll talk a little shit about Kyle Busch and all those other donkeys. So that's about it for me. I got to go. I got some tires to roast on the Shelby. We do have a Shelby video coming for you guys soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. It's just, uh, you know, uh, we want to avoid the Corona PD, if you know what I'm saying. So we kind of got to do that on a Sunday down here in the industrial area where there's no cops. But big shout out to the Corona PD for not pulling me over so far. Uh, knock on wood. I'm out. Grab yourself a can of dip. Load your big fat lip. And if your lady tells you to quit dipping, then you need to dump her ass. I'm out. I think it's getting worse is my point. Now, when you have the UN coming into the US and you have our politicians signing treaties, allowing them control, and you have Hillary Clinton who should be going to jail, but she's gonna be our next president. And I guarantee you she's gonna be our next president. You know.